Hello YouTube, this is the one and only Bendro I I I, and basically what I'm going to bring you guys today is how to stream on Justin.tv. Now before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I have a Mac, so all the settings and the programs I will be using is for Mac, but I will also be letting you know what programs uh, you will be needing for your PC. Now I may not know all the settings for uh, the program I'm talking about is VH ScreenCap, so maybe one of the other directors that streams can, uh, one of the other YouTube guys can, you know, do a response video and have a setup of, you know, VH screen cap or something like that. But uh, other than that, let's get right into it. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes because the last two have gone extremely long. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go to Google and type in justin.tv space xml space file. And you want to click on the first link that pops up. And basically what this does is it, it gives you links to the programs that you need to download, or the program and the XML profile. So the program you need to download is Flash Media Encoder. Okay, now if you have a Mac, you click the top one. If you have Windows, you click the bottom one. You download and install that program. Now, next step is, first of all, you have to be logged in to Justin TV for this to work. And what the XML profile, the thing you're downloading next, is basically it is when you open it up in Flash Media Encoder, it tells Flash Media Encoder which Justin, first of all, that you want to stream to Justin TV, but also which, you know, which login name you want to stream for. So my my XML profile will tell Justin or Flash Media Encoder that I want to stream for Benjo. So you after you click here, first of all, the Flash Media Encoder pops up and you can do medium quality, either do standard or widescreen. It doesn't matter because I will tell be telling you what settings exactly I want to you know I use for my thing so you just click one um, it downloads see it pops up right here um, and then you can open it up later but just remember where that downloads so you can find it later okay so after you have that I'm gonna switch over in spaces and show you guys all the programs I have to have open to stream so I don't know why my Xbox turned off but it was on um, this first program that I have open right now is called Blackmagic Media Express and this is where I capture um, this is what I use to capture. I'll just use this uh, one of my old files just to uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is what the video would look like in this screen right here. Um, so first you want to have your capture program open. The second thing you want to open is for Mac users you want to open Cam Twist. Now if you're a PC user you want to download and install VH Screen Cap. That's uh, basically what these two programs do is they capture your your desktop. Now uh, with Cam Twist and VH Screen Cap, you can select an area that you want to stream or capture, and uh, you just you, you maneuver it right over the actual video on your capture program, and then you hit done selecting. Now for Cam Twist, you want to the first one says select a video source, so I always pick desktop. Um, and when you first open it up, it's going to say full screen. And you want to check that, and then it goes down to the resizable selection, and then that's when you actually drag it over and you know pick the actual area that you want to stream. Now, in Cam Twist, you want to go up to Cam Twist Preferences, uh, General, and I keep the frame rate at 30 usually, uh, just because I never you know I never have to stream in 60. Now, if you want to. You know, I think John actually streams at 60 frames a second because he has a beast computer. I mean, my computer's pretty beast, but I can't stream at 60 frames a second. Anyways, 30 frames a second. I keep the video size at 1280 by 720. If you don't have the best computer in the world, you can knock it down to 640 by 360, which is exactly half of 1280 by 720. So it'll keep the same, you know, aspect ratio, which is, you know, the widescreen. Um, so after that, you know, I think that's about it for Cam Twist, actually. So after you have that done, you just want to minimize that, and you know the same for VH Screen Cap. The next program that you want to have open is Audio Hijack Pro. Now, Audio Hijack Pro for a Mac, uh, what it does is it basically allows you to capture the audio devices going on on your computer. Like right now, I am hijacking this Logitech, my microphone. Basically, so when I actually start this stream up, the people there's a couple people in the stream because I did this a little bit earlier and it failed. Anyways, so you want to capture this um, to have this set up. If it's you know if it's your Black Magic intensity, if it's your system audio, you can go right down to the output 
output device and the thing you want to have it set up to is Soundflower. Now Soundflower is another program that you would have to download for the Mac and basically what it does is it collects all the audio sources that um, Audio Hijack sends to it. So if I want to hijack you know Blackmagic, my Firefox, if I want to hijack you know iTunes, I can hijack all that stuff and I can send them all as it's opening up iTunes which I forgot it does that. Um, but it hijacks all those sources and it sends them over to Soundflower. Now you may be wondering, Ben, how do I make Soundflower work? Well, like I said, you just have to have the output device to Soundflower channel 16. But if it's an actual program instead of system audio, what you have to do is you have to go, uh, the first thing you would go to source type application. Um, the other thing you could go down to audio, audio device and select your, uh, your headphones or something like that. So this is the, let's say if I wanted to set up my microphone I'm using right now, I'd go down and select you Logitech USB headset. Now for, let's say, Firefox, I'll go to application, and application is Firefox, okay, that's fine. And then you would have to go over to effects, and I'm going to delete this effect real quick. Um, what you have to do, you have to right click in this effect area, 4F effect, and you will go down to auxiliary device output. And then for the device, Soundflower, I use the 16 channel, you can use the 2 channel if you only want to have 2 channels. But sometimes I do have three, so I use the 16 channel. And what that basically means is if you have two channel, you can only have uh, two things hijacked in Audio Hijack Pro. But if you have 16, Soundflower 16, you can have up to 16 things hijacked. Why in God's green earth you would ever want to do that, I have no idea. So anyways, after you have that set up, uh, the only thing you have to do to make it work is just hit that hijack button. So now if I had a video playing in Firefox and I wanted to hear the audio, it would now be working. Okay, so I think that's enough for Audio Hijack. The last thing you want to go to is Flash Media Encoder. Uh, so the first thing you would want to do is go up to, um, I can't open Profile right now for some reason, but you would want to go to File, Open Profile. Actually, let's try and quit this and see if that'll work. Okay, come on. Now, the programs I'm talking about, the, the way I talked about them, that's the order that you should open them up with because... It, if I open up Flash Media Encoder first, sometimes it won't recognize Cam Twist. Um, if I open this up before Cam Twist, so uh, the order I talked about it in is how you should generally try and open them up. Usually, sometimes it doesn't matter, but it, that'll help. So the first thing you want to do is go to File Open Profile, and you want to locate that uh, XML file that you just downloaded from online. So after you locate that, um, let's go to File Open. I'm not going to do it now because it's going to mess up all my settings, but let's say this is my XML file. Click that and I would just hit open. And once you got that XML file open, what that does is it should set all these settings. And basically what the stream, what this means is it's going to stream to Bendro. Um, and this is just selling it that it's going to stream to Justin TV. So after you got that, it should give you some generic settings depending on you if you set up widescreen or regular you know, whatever option you picked for your XML profile. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is go to device. And for my device, it's Cam Twist. Uh, for you PC guys, it will be VH Screen Cap. I use that H.264 format. You can use VP6. Once you have all the stuff set up, you can you can mess around with the settings and figure out what's wor what works for you. Uh, frame rate, I use 30. You can you can bump that down or up depending on you know how good your computer is or if it's lagging stuff like that input size uh, the input size I have is 640 by 360 which is exactly half of 1280 by 720 and the reason for that is is just because I don't need to stream in HD and it seems to be a little bit less laggy when I have it at 640 by 360 so then the next step is your output size and your bitrate now the bit rate, the higher you put it up, the uh, the better your internet connection is, has to be. Uh, I use it at 650 just because I don't lose any quality and I don't lose, you know, I don't lag at all. I mean, my internet's pretty good, but it's not the best. Uh, and also, you want to have your output size the same as your input size, and what the output size is is what is going to be seen on Justin TV, because my dog is making all kinds of noise. Okay, so after you have all those settings set up. The next step would be audio. Now, what I talked about earlier for you Mac guys is Soundflower 16 channel. 
Um, for you PC guys, it will be Stereo Mix if you have Windows 7. I think it comes on Windows 7. Uh, maybe, like I said, if one of those YouTube... I don't know if I said it this time around. If one of you YouTube guys uh, can maybe give me some settings or make a response video for what you would use for a stereo mix, let me know if you want to do that. That would be awesome. Uh, but I use format MP3, uh, you know, just general settings. But the big thing is that the volume should be about halfway because if you have it turned all the way up, it is just going to be ridiculously loud. So after you have that set up, guys, that's just about it. Now, uh, if there's something I didn't cover and you guys have questions about it, I can make, you know, like a tutorial 2.0, like answering any questions that I missed or any questions that you guys have. And sorry if anything looks out of place. My phone just started blowing up, so I had to stop and uh, redo this last little ending part. But we were almost at the end. All you have to do now is just hit that green start button and you are ready to stream. Uh, so as soon as I hit this green start button, anything that is in this capture area, like this is a preview of the output, that's going to be streamed to justin.tv. So uh, if I wanted to, you know, if I wanted to change it so uh, everybody in my stream could see exactly what I'm talking about, you know, I could, uh, you know, change the cam twist area to my full screen. And now they can see my full screen. Um, and then all you have to do now is just go over to Justin TV slash your username. Uh, mine is Benjo. So here I am, and I am now streaming to Justin TV. And as you can see, all these people were in here because I kept on starting it and ending it. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, don't forget to let me know, and have a good day.